Today, I'm going to be showing you this awesome through station layout, which uses the brand new alternate platform tool for the most efficiency. And let me tell you, this station is efficient. Let's jump to it. Okay, so first off, let's look at the basics. We have four tracks going through on two separate sides of the station. Now, these are very simple. We have a two-way system in place. So on this side of the track, we're going that way. And on that side of the track, we're going that way. It is a little bit more complex than that, but I'm not gonna waste your time and I'm gonna show you the most important thing when doing a station like this. You can just see here, this train's just pulled out. Is this here, a junction you can see inside of the station. And all this is basically, if we just press pause here and just back out, you can see this is not a part of the station. Uh, now all I've done is I've simply deleted a bit of track inside the modular stations and I've gone to tracks, hooked these two up um, and when I've done that, I've all I've done is I've gone across from here and I've put it into that. Now the reasoning for this is because when a train comes along the track, let's say it's an express train, one's just left the station and it goes all the way to the end of the platform, stops there, okay? So that's going to block all of this section here, but it is going to leave some platform available, right? It's going to leave it up to here. So let's fit another train in, which we can see here, this train actually pulled in and stopped at this station. And then when it leaves, it'll go up there. There you go. Uh, and while we're here, we can also see there's a freight train that's just come through and, and set uh, two freight trains and setting it up like this means you can actually do through traffic without stopping most of the time. The only reason these guys are stopping is because I haven't set this station up. It's literally just a one tracker, just so I can show you the main station over here. But honestly, this station is incredibly efficient. If those two stations on either side were actually proper stations, this thing I could run on double the trains I've got running on here right now. So it's simply a case of put the station into your map and then all you have to do is simply make sure that these other stations can hold the amount of trains that will be processed through the station. You can see there's so many trains going through here right now. Now another great feature about this is there is several types of lines. Now not a lot of people do this in Transport Fever 2 and it's something I would strongly recommend, strongly recommend. And I really, really never see this. And that is gonna be intercity trains, cross country trains and commuter trains. Because what happens generally is in Transport Fever 2, someone just goes, okay, I'll make a new line. We're gonna chuck some trains on it and we'll call it a day. No, because what you've just done is you've made every single train a commuter service which is not good because that means that people want to go a long distance, aren't going to be able to. They're going to have to spend ages on the train and they'll go, you know what? I'm not going to wait at the train that's stopping at every station. I'm just going to get the car because it's better. It's quicker. So how do we actually achieve this? Well, let's look at commuter services first. By extending the station by just another three sections here, you can see I've managed to fit in this little end terminus. Now this is really, really handy because let's say that this is a big city, which it is, and then this train here wants to go to a smaller city and it's funneling people in from the smaller city or cities to the main city. Now what they can do here, they can hop off the commuter service and if they want to go further, all they have to do is walk across here and there you go. Right here, this is a track for intercity and cross country services. All you have to do is simply go across one side of the platform. Taking a peek at intercity trains, one has just pulled in here and you can see it uses the same slot in the station as the cross country service. However, the intercity train does something different because the cross country service, it only will be assigned to the end of the platform here so the whole thing can fit in. As you can see, it's a pretty long train. It has to fit in the whole platform so it won't go all the way to the end. So with an intercity service, if we just go here to intercity number one and two, you can see we actually have the alternate platform tool being used. And if we just scroll out a little bit here, you can see that it's actually set by default to go to platform three. But what if a cross country service is already in there? Well, if we look here at the alternate platform tool, it's also set to go to four and five as its alternate places to stop. Why we can do this is because we have these sections I mentioned earlier, and this allows the train to pull out of the station, even if there's a train in this block. It's a really great tool. Let's look at these two middle tracks here. Aside from being a great place for these trains to pull out, they're also really great for if you're doing a train that doesn't stop. For example, a freight train that wants to be on the main line and not have a whole new track constructed, you might want to run it through here, which is very, very simple to do because all you have to do is literally on the route, select the signal as a point to go through. And there you go. It's going to go to this line in the middle and it won't interfere with any of these train stops at the station. Super handy thing to do. 
In terms of getting people to the station on your trains, a lot of you I can imagine have probably already set up a bus depot. So what I would strongly recommend you do is you actually build a light rail network as you can see here. So what I've done here is I have this station as one of the stops for the light rail network and it's going to three different places. It's going to a nearby residential area, it's going to another nearby residential area and it's going to the main point of town. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna just delete all of these lines and I'll show you the setup process. So we'll start off with a commuter route. You can see this is now empty. So what we'll do is we'll do this side just to start and we're gonna go from the place we wanna start, which is over here, of course, and then we're gonna go into the station. Now, when it's here, you're gonna press this button down here that says platform 13 or whatever. Uh, and then you're gonna see on here, it says platform 10 and platform eight. In this instance, we're gonna use platform 10. So there you go, that's that. And then now you need to make sure on this commuter route that's leaving, you actually have a crossover because remember, each side here goes a different way, a different flow of traffic because it's two way traffic. So this means the train has to go over the other side, not just on the one side, otherwise you're gonna have problems. Now that's literally as simple as it is for a commuter service. All you have to do past this point is your signal blocks and uh, your end station, that's all it is. And now let's look at some intercity. So if we go to intercity, we just get rid of these lines here. We will go with a new line. We'll go from our end stop and then we'll go into here. And now we're gonna go to this button again, but this time we're gonna go instead and look at the end of the track here, it says platform 14. We're gonna press on that one there and you can see that it actually goes up to there. But one thing we need to do, of course, is our alternate platforms. So we'll press alternate platforms and we're gonna see here, it says 15 and 16 as the platforms that are on the line. We're gonna press here 15 and 16 and then of course go to the end of the line and then back here and then it'll automatically go back where you want it to go. And you'll start to see here that these separate sort of faded lines are coming off into the middle, which is what we want. There's this bad bit here though, so we'll quickly fix that. We'll go here to our platform tool. We're gonna to select up here, it says platform three. So we'll select platform three there. And then for alternate platforms, we're gonna go and select platform two and one. And there you go, you can see the same on this side, it's gone in the faded pattern onto the middle section. So if there's a train blocking right here, these trains behind can leave straight away and stay on time. We'll take a quick peek at freight here, but it is pretty simple for freight. So we'll go from our end point, then we're gonna go to the point we want to go to over here. And then back in our main station, you can see they are actually gonna use the central reservation the whole time, which is great because we're bypassing all the traffic. Literally, that's all there is to freight really good and the same applies if you want a passenger train to go straight through and not stop although at this sort of size station i would say a lot of trains going through here are going to be stopping it just makes sense but now we can go and look at the final thing which is the cross-country services so we'll get rid of these here and all there is to a cross-country service is we're going to go from here to the main place to here and then back to here all there is to do to set it up is to go to our end platform so platform 14 on that one and our end platform so that's going to be platform three on this one and that's it that's all across country services because you don't want to be using like i say this platform here because then the carriages are going to be blocking all this section which is not ideal so if you guys want to download this and have a mess about there'll be a link to it in the description and i hope you found this video useful if you did find it useful press subscribe and if you like this sort of content you'll love the brutal mode series which is the hardest series in transport fever 2